Hello and welcome to our very quick books guide to accounting for deferred income. The technique we'll be looking at here is relevant for a business that sells annual subscriptions or annual licenses for an upfront fee but wants the revenue to arise in its books equally over the months of the contract. The first thing we need to do is to set up an item. Now an item is a service, something that we sell. Control N opens up the new item dialog box. At the top we select service. We then give the item a name. In this case it's going to be deferred income. And then we're going to jump to the description box. Whenever we raise a sales invoice using this item, whatever lies in the description box will be automatically typed onto the face of the invoice for us to use. We'll see this a bit later. We want an account, a nominal ledger account, to take the credit from this invoice. And in this case it's going to be a new account. So we select Add New and then we go to the dialog box for setting up a new account. What type is it? Well it's an other current liability. And we give it an account number and an account name. Save and close. That sets up the new nominal code and takes us back to the new item dialog box. We can now say OK and our item and our nominal code are now both set up. We need a second nominal code so we select the chart of accounts and in the bottom left hand corner we select new because we need an income account in order to record our income every month when it starts to flow through the P&L. So we select income. Our income accounts all begin with a 4 so we give it an account number. We give the account a name. Save and close. And we're back to our chart of accounts with our new account. Now we can create our sales invoice. So we select create invoices and a new invoice will appear. So the customer is XYZ Limited. The date's important. This QuickBooks file is actually set to run in 2012 and we're going to say that our invoice for our new subscription is on the 1st of August 2012. The quantity is 1 and the item is our deferred income item. When we select it, you remember our narrative, it now appears. But we can complete the narrative. We've sold an annual subscription for the year from August 2012 to July 2013. And what's the rate for our sale? Well it's £1200. So we now have our sales invoice set up. Our credit of £1,200 has gone to deferred revenue and now we need to open up our journal and begin to bring the monthly revenue into the P&L. So the date of our journal is also the 1st of August. We'll give it an entry number of XYZ and the first account we're going to select is annual subscription income. This is where we want the monthly credit. What's the right amount for the monthly credit? Well, let's use QuickBooks as a calculator. £1,200 divided by 12, we get a monthly credit of £100. We give it a memo and importantly we give XYZ as the name. We now go on to the debit line where we're debiting deferred income £100. And here I'm going to slightly change the narrative to make it a bit more informative. And then in a second you'll see that I'm going to paste this narrative into the row above. There we go. Now before we save the journal we go to edit 
select Memorize General Journal and the Memorize Transaction screen comes up. We give our journal a name. We want our journal to be automatically entered. How often? Every month. When is the next one? Well, we want the next journal to be on the 1st of September 2012. How many more do we have including this one? 11. We say OK. Now we've memorized the journal. All we have to do is record it by clicking on Save and Close. I've closed and reopened our QuickBooks file and it enters automatically for me the next four memorized journals. So let's see what we've achieved. We'll open up a profit and loss for the whole financial year. And once we've done that, we can see that in our annual subscription income account, we've got income of £500. We double click on it, and we can see that in fact, month by month, August through December, from XYZ Limited, we're getting a credit of £100 of income, which is what we thought we would get. Let's look on the balance sheet. So the balance sheet at December 31, 2012, is going to have a deferred income account. And if we look in there, we can see the original invoice, which was a credit to deferred income, and the debit side of the monthly transactions. So now I think we've achieved our objective. We raised an invoice for an annual subscription of £1,200, but we didn't want that £1,200 to immediately hit the P&L we wanted to phase it over the 12 months of the contract and our journal and our memorized journals have achieved exactly that.